And so I want to talk about today compassion. Everybody say compassion. Compassion, compassion that manifests the glory and the power. Yeah. Come on, compassion that manifests the glory and the power. Today, today is no different from the days of Jesus uh, and the times. How many of y'all know that? Amen. People still hurting. Come on, people still got needs. Yes. I'm talking to y'all. Yes. People still got problems. Yes. All kind of things today is no different from the days of Jesus. In fact, if anything, we got greater problems. Is that right? Compassion is a feeling of deep sympathy. Sympathy that you have towards somebody. And, of, and then a sorrow for another who is stricken with misfortune. I don't know about y'all, but I've had some misfortunes in my life. I sure wish somebody could have took care of them too. <laughs> Look what it says. The word compassion also is to give uh, uh, assistance, to give yourself, uh, to have mercy upon somebody else, or to show kindness uh, through doing something. To show kindness through doing something. In the book of Matthew, the ninth chapter, and then also look with me in Matthew 14 also, Matthew 9 and verse 35, and it starts, talks about Jesus was often moved with compassion, seeing the needs of people. Jesus was moved with compassion because he saw the needs of people. How many of y'all ever saw some needs of people and compassion didn't even bother you? Compassion, compassion moves us to action. Would you write that down? Compassion moves us to action. Compassion moves us to action. It moves us to what? It makes me do something. I was walking the other, not, not that long ago, and a guy walked up to me and said, uh, can, can I have uh, uh, a couple of dollars? He said, I need, I'm hungry. I'm really, really uh, in need. And I said, i tell you what, come on, let's just walk over. I took him to this. It was a nice restaurant. It would just happen to be there. And I took him into the restaurant, and the guy told him he had to leave. And then I said, no, he's not leaving. He's my guest. And I'm going to take care of his bill for him. And the guy said, you're going to take care of his bill? Do you know who he is? I said, I know exactly who he is. He's a need, person that's in need. Amen. And, and, and I'm, I'm moved with compassion to help feed him right now. So whatever his bill is, I take care of it. So I made, waited there for him to order whatever he wanted, and then I took care of the bill. See, that's what God wants us to be able to, not just have money for ourselves, but to be able to be a blessing and help other people and not run from people who have needs. Cause I don't know about y'all, but I thank God every day that ain't me who went out there had to be doing the begging. I could be. I, I got friends that I was raised up. They're out there on the streets doing that. I could, some of us couldn't even be here, be in the land of the living today. A lot of us could be dead. You could be in the hospital today, or you could be in prison, or you could be sick with all kinds of problems and, and have no mobility about yourself. God has been good to us. People follow people who have compassion. Okay. No, y'all slow over here. People follow folks who have compassion because compassion brings manifestations. Compassion brings manifestation, and people follow folks who have compassion. Yes. See, we recognize that we could be in a worse place than we in, Amen. and we have the compassion to do something to make a difference for them. Y'all listening to me? Huh? Compassion moves us to do, compassion moves us to make the great needs met. Compassion moves us to meet the greatest needs that somebody have to be met. It moves us to meet those greatest needs, compassion. It ain't about you as much as it is about you being able to be a help and make a difference in other people's life. We should have that same compassion of being able to reach out and to touch people. Nothing happens until you start doing something. Nothing happens until you start doing something. I just want to know if there is a spirit of compassion in your life today. I want to know if there is a spirit of compassion to be able to help people, to make a difference. Or, or you then got so uh, up on the ladder and you have got, climbed up so much. Now you're so important and you're so much, you can't go out and you can't touch the untouchables. You can't touch the leopards of the world or the blind of the world or those that are hungry and those that are in need and those that can't provide for themselves. Have you got to the place that you can't condescend and to show compassion and love to make a difference in somebody else's life. And I say that that is not you. Amen. I declare that every one of you in here 
are full of compassion and love and that it flows out of you and that your compassion and love is flowing and to make a huge difference in every person's life. Raise your hands up. Say, Father. Father. Say it like you ain't scared. Say, Father. Father. In the name of Jesus, my declaration, my commitment is that I am full of compassion, full of the love of you, and I'm not just a talker. I am a doer. I am that good Samaritan. I am that person of giving, of mercy and love and long-suffering. I give to make a positive difference in other people's lives. Use me today. Come on, say it again. Use me today. Let today be a day of miracles, of manifestations, of your glory and your power as you use these hands, these feet, my mouth, as you use me. Let my life make a big, 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 big. First of all, thank you everyone that, that came through today to make a difference in this community. We don't just go to church and praise God, but we love the people by showing our love. Calvary Christian Center teaming up with the city of Sacramento with one of the biggest community cleanup events in the history of the capital city. It's Compassion in Action. We're out here putting some action to what we believe. Doing it for the Lord and the community and trying to make a difference. At the same time, we can reach souls as we're going along. But I see a lot of leaves and stuff. Oh, man, there's another one. It's amazing what you can accomplish with a bunch of people doing it all at once. We love you, everybody, at Del Paso Heights. I think this is the love of Jesus Christ coming into the community rather than waiting for people to come into the church. Whatever you do today, believe me, it will be blessed. City Council Member Alan Warren appreciates the partnership with Calvary. The fact that we've come out, come together, you know, and really do something that's spectacular, I'm, I'm really thrilled that we have so many people out today. Uh, it means a lot to our community, and we lead by example. I think it's great for the community. It's the first time I've ever seen it. Because we're part of the community too, so it's yeah. a big deal for us. Hey guys, I need everybody to clear this path. <laughs> Why you this bag tight? <laughs> yeah. It looks good out here. I think it's really nice. They're cleaning up our neighborhood. I'm just in in awe. I mean, I do my yard all the time, and to have someone do it like this is just like, I feel so good. I just want to cry. I want to cry. Thank you, Jesus. It's fun. With the volunteers, I mean, young, old, whatever, they're really doing a good job. <laughs> it was God providing and keeping the weather back. It's a good thing. Hallelujah! Cleaning up the city. This is our community. We take pride in our community. Most people will complain when they see it, but we've got to be willing to keep our own communities clean. God is good. God all the time to me. We're going to actually touch the community with the love of Christ, and we're not going to just talk about it. 